Hey friends, it's KT. This is the Adventure Force Blitz 6. It's made by Busby and it is a six shot revolver pistol. And the thing that's interesting about this is that Busby hasn't had a six shot revolver pistol. Revolver pistol. Busby, <laughs> what is the deal? I've been filming all day. I'm like, so like roasted. Okay, Busby has not had a six shot revolver pistol on the market in a while. The last one that they had that was in consistent production was the Tech 6. But this is such a common form factor for blasters. Uh, Nerf has made the Maverick and the Strong Arm and currently the Disruptor. And that kind of inspired this whole family of blasters, regardless of who they're manufactured by. So there's really no way to talk about this blaster without comparing it to its brethren on the market. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Now for full disclosure, I do need to uh, make it known that this was sent to me by Busby for review. You. I'm very thankful to them for doing that. But of course, my main goal in this particular video is going to be to compare it to the other similar blasters on the market, little six round revolver pistols. Now first, a little bit of history on Busby's uh, revolver blasters. This is not a Tech 6, but it's in the same family. I can't, I thought I had a Tech 6, I can't find it. This is a Busby 6 round revolver, but it's a top slide prime, very cool aesthetics, and these big old funky barrels on the front. Now this was intended for an older, larger dart, but you can see that the dart, the barrels are these hexagonal barrels with these weird wide dart posts and they cause a lot of friction. So it's really great to see Busby come back into this part of the market and come in with a much more traditional barrel shape and a much more traditional dart post. You've got a nice big ring pull on the back, a reasonably comfortable grip. My adult hand fits this okay. My pinky kind of hangs on the end of this, but a kid's hand, this fits totally perfectly. Nice easy trigger pull. Trigger's a little small for an adult hand, but again, it's a toy. It rotates on prime. This also has a really interesting what I can only call a pseudo slam fire sort of situation. If you pull back on the ring and let go, it will launch a dart almost like a slingshot. And you can do that pretty fast. So it it sort of has a slam fire setup. It's not really a traditional slam fire. I, I'm not 100% sure if it was intentional or if it's just a side effect, but it's cool to have that. And this is where the comparisons to other blasters have to come in. The Nerf Disruptor has slam fire. However, the disruptor is different because it has rotation after firing. Now the X-Shot Reflex 6 and the Adventure Force Destroyer are both six shot revolvers as well. And the Destroyer is an interesting comparison point because it is also an Adventure Force blaster. So it sits on Walmart shelves right next to the Blitz 6. They have comparable price points. Uh, I have always found that the X-Shot blasters are kind of rattly. However, the Reflex 6 and the Destroyer shoot a little bit harder than the 70 feet per second average that a lot of toy blasters have. And partly because of that, the Reflex 6 family has become a favorite for modders. There's a lot of alternate cylinders and other parts for upgrading and modifying your Reflex 6 that already exist. But one thing that I gotta say, that rattliness that's always bugged me, the Blitz 6 does not have it. The Blitz 6 feels very solid. In fact, I, I kind of feel like the current generation of Busby blasters really has a step up in build quality overall from some of the previous generations. Interestingly, it's also quieter than the Disruptor. And I think that actually just has to do with the plastic being harder plastic that sounds louder. The Blitz and the Disruptor feel similar in terms of their build quality. I do think it's interesting that the Blitz 6 seems to have borrowed the uh, priming ring almost exactly from the Reflex 6 and the Destroyer. They're uh, different sizes, but the almost exact same shape. So we're outside with the Blitz 6 and uh, I'm standing at 40 feet. I'm gonna see if I can hit that stack of barriers, and uh, we'll just see what's up with this thing. So that was with Busby long distance darts. Uh, I, they certainly were like in the vicinity of it, but we're gonna try it with Adventure Force Waffles. I'm not a huge fan of these barrels um, there's a tendency for the darts to go like this while you're trying to load them because the barrels are so short. Anyway, here we go. So 
So this is something I've noticed with these barrels as well. They're really picky about darts. Um, if I put a waffle in here that is used at all, they don't seal properly and we just get garbage firing. Okay, this time we're trying chilies. Hopefully the chilies, they're a little fresher and uh, I was having better luck when I was trying to chronograph this with the chilies, so let's see if this works. Okay, that was great. This is a great thing with the right darts in it. Uh, pretty much every shot hit, no problem. 40 feet, easy. Uh, for a blaster this size, this small and compact, that is great. Um, I think that it's just as easy to use as the Reflex 6. Actually, let's find out. So side to side, <laughs> here's the Reflex 6, here's the uh, Blitz 6. Again, the Blitz does not like waffles for some reason. Here's the X shot. So I've long liked the Reflex 6, but I have to admit that just in terms of build quality, the Blitz 6 is way better. When I'm firing them back to back, it's so obvious that this one is very rickety and it feels very like loose when you're firing it. This one feels sort of tightly assembled and, and better uh, than the Reflex 6 for sure. I would say that the overall build quality of the, on this is a step up from what I've seen from Busby in the past. But anyway, yeah, firing these back to back, firing the Reflex 6 and firing the Blitz 6, the Blitz 6 just feels better. Now on the chronograph with the included darts, we got an average somewhere around 70 feet per second, which is pretty much on par for good kid safe, indoor safe play. Uh, once we started using Adventure Force waffles, though, the performance drops significantly. Uh, and then as well with the chili darts, it was somewhere in between, a little bit less consistent, but uh, it generally felt better, but the, the numbers varied somewhat. I think my only functional gripe about the Blitz 6 is these barrels. I really wish the barrels were longer. Jasper moment. Mm hmm On a blaster like the Disruptor, most of the dart does go into the barrel. And when you're pushing the dart in, there's a wall behind it that keeps you from bending the dart in the process of putting it in. And on the Reflex 6, the dart goes pretty much all the way into the barrel and sticks out only a little bit. Now the blaster comes with Busby long distance darts, which you can see don't bend too badly when they're put into the short barrels. However, the only thing that Walmart actually sells on the shelves is the Adventure Force waffle dart, which bends significantly more. If we rip the heads off of the Busby long distance dart, you can see it has this short post supporting the inside of the foam. The Adventure Force waffle dart has a much shorter post inside. Now the problem is if you go to a Walmart, you can't buy the Busby long distance darts off the shelf. You can only buy the Adventure Force waffle darts. So it's important that all of the Adventure Force blasters, even if they're made by different manufacturers, be compatible with those darts. And in my opinion, the Adventure Force waffle darts bend way too much when they're put into these short barrels. Honestly, the long distance darts, I think, bend a little too much as well, but not as bad as the Adventure Force waffles. So ultimately, do I recommend purchasing the Blitz 6? If you're looking for a six round revolver uh, and you're looking on the shelf and you're comparing the Disruptor and the Reflex 6 or similar and the Blitz 6, it's a perfectly reasonable alternative. It's significantly cheaper than the Disruptor. This runs for about $8 and Disruptors still are around 12 or more. The Destroyer I think is actually a little bit cheaper. It's usually six or $7 on Walmart shelves. This feels significantly more solid to me than the Reflex 6, and I think it's a perfectly viable alternative. Just a good, solid, little blaster with a couple little quirks. So if you enjoyed this video and helped you out, please hit the like button, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and until then, I will see you on the field.